is Amy. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to just do a short little quick video on how to make awesome, whether it's serving plates by gluing um, a bowl to the bottom of a plate. I use this one. This is mine. I actually use it quite often, whether it's to serve desserts or something like when you're having friends and family over, nice for the holidays. This is a small bowl like maybe even a soup bowl glued to the top of a coffee mug. I actually put a plant in this and it sits by my sink. This one, which is one of my favorite creations, I glued a coffee cup to not a full size plate, I guess this is probably more like a salad size plate, and then this little dish on top. I set this bus beside my sink for my sponges, uh, hand lotions, that kind of thing. Could even put your dish soap dispenser on top of this too, or your hand soap, whatnot, just to kind of keep it tidy. I absolutely love these. I made a set of three of this type, and this one's kind of big, but I took a candlestick holder, got a clear plate, did the reverse painting on the back side of the plate, again did a set of three, and I glued it to the top of the candlestick holder. The only thing bad about doing it with a clear plate is that you can see the ring of glue around the top. But keep in mind, you know, we did a dessert tray, or not dessert tray, dessert table. So I had three of these that we could sit cupcakes and different types of candies and cookies and stuff on top of for my grandson's baby shower. Anyway, so I'm going to just show you a quick tutorial on how to do it easy peasy and I'm telling you these make great gifts they're great for your own home and you might want to stick around and see how we do it all right so now I'm ready to show you the demonstration making a new piece I purchased a another bowl I guess could be a soup bowl cereal bowl any type of a bowl and then another little plate like I said, I, I would look at this as maybe a salad plate, maybe a little bit bigger than a dessert plate. And they're cheap. I mean, they're a few bucks a piece. And then I also purchased some E6000 glue, which is, this is probably the best glue for any type of project like this. All the other ones that I've shown you earlier were put together with this glue, and I've had those pieces for a long, 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 long time. So really it's quite simple. I just eyeball everything that I'm doing. This is a new a new tube. So hopefully I can get it out here. And I just make sure I put a ton of glue. And I'm just going to put it around the base of this bowl. But I want to make sure I get a lot of glue on here. And I allow at least 24 hours for it to dry. Now, if for some reason, whatever comes separate be, becomes separated from it, just reglow it. It's not a biggie. Just reglow it. But it's just a. It does have a. It does have fumes, so you really should be doing it in a, a well ventilated area, which I am not doing right now because I'm in my basement. But I, this is basically where I do most of my filming. So I wanted to show it to you. Just trying to get a good, I put this crazy needle on here. Maybe I needed a, a bigger one. A little bit difficult to get it out. But I'm just going to go around it again and just make sure I really, 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 really get a good set amount on here. And typically, I will place place it on top. Now you can go ahead and, and add glue to where you think you're going to be putting it. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to set it down here. So you can do it one of two ways. You can either do it this way in hopes that you get it centered the way you want or you can do it the opposite direction and place it like this and try to get it as centered as possible. And since the bowl it's pretty, pretty close to you know, this size in the circle here. 
it's really not hard. Now, if you're somebody that needs to have it perfect, then measure. But any of you that watch my videos, you know that perfection is not one of my key points. And I pretty much eyeball just about everything I do. So I'm going to make sure I should take this out. Oh no, I'm not really used to using it with a with a little addition there, so I'm not really sure what to do about that. But I would just let this sit and dry. And this kind of a piece, you're not going to have to put tape or anything on it. You just need to let it dry. Sit it where you want it and let it dry. And then once you flip it, this is what you've got. And it'll be a nice little piece to sit by your sink to put your sponges and that type of thing on so that it's not sitting on your countertop directly and then you can wash this just gently wash it I would not put it in the dishwasher but just gently wash it and you're good to go again anyhow there you go just a simple little project cheap affordable and of course I'm doing this and I'm making the bowl slide all over the place probably not a good thing so I'm gonna get it where I want it to be and <clears throat> leave it alone. Probably that would be my best bet, right? All right. Yeah. I mean, what I'm doing is not what I recommend as far as showing it around, but till it dries. But anyhow, there you go. You get the gist of it. And two, if you wanted to use it as a serving piece, you know, you can do that too. It's not just something to put by your sink. I just thought of that when I was picking out these pieces to put together. How cute that would be. Probably get, end up gifting it to my daughter and have her sit it out. But you could serve dip in this. You know, if you're having a gathering, I really, really do like these pieces. They're just very versatile and you just really low maintenance. You just wash them off and reuse. Pretty easy. Alright, well, if you like this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. And I didn't say this earlier, but if you are new to this channel, please make sure that you subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I do something new. And also hit that share button that's underneath the video. And share this video with all your friends and family through your social network. Alright, until the next one, have a good time.